Libra! Welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher. I'm here today to do your High Priestess reading. Now, I chose this specific card because of the actual wording at the bottom there. Your High Priestess is your higher self. It is intuition, your intuition trying to guide you to do the right thing, to navigate life easier. So I'm going to start. Yes, I'm starting at the end. <laughs> I'm going to draw um, firstly a card of guidance for you from the High Priestess that we will look at at the end, not right now. And then I'm going to draw your other cards. So um, the High Priestess, like I said, the High Priestess in Tarot is known as basically your higher self, as intuition. And sometimes we either don't hear her or we don't want to hear her or we misinterpret messages. So this reading is all about trying to see what it is that she's really trying to tell us without having to worry about misinterpretation or not hearing or whatever. Okay, so I love how these cards align. It looks so pretty with the, this look like a light. It's just, this is the light seer's tarot. Right, Libra, we're starting off by seeing what is your intuition trying to show you that you don't see. And the reason why you don't see it is sometimes because you might be scared, you might be stuck in fear, you might be stressed, and you might just be so involved with life that you don't hear the whisper of your intuition. And we have the chariot. So your intuition is trying to tell you that you are on the brink of great triumph and forward movement but you don't see it. So there might be something that you're busy with that will pay off greatly that you don't see how, how near you are to the ending. And maybe you are tired and you want to give up and you're just like, oh, can this just end? But you don't, you, you don't see how close to the end you really are. Now, next one is what is it that you see as a negative and your high priestess sees as a positive? Um, and we have a six of swords. Okay, so you see this as a negative and your high priestess sees this as a positive. Now, what I'm getting here is that you are so close to the end and because of that, things are actually calming down around you. And you think now that it's calming down, the energy is going to fizzle out. But And you feel that is a negative thing. But it isn't your higher self is trying to tell you don't worry this is not negative this is a positive thing yes the energy might be fizzling out but it's because you are so close to the triumph that you so desperately want now next one is what do you see as a positive and your higher self sees as a negative we have the two of swords so this might be something that you are wondering about should i do this or should i do that and you are sitting there weighing up which one should i choose but you you're blindfolded here and you think if you and oh look at that there's scales on her on her arm that is this is such a cool deck so what i feel here is that you are sitting in an energy now and 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 you're trying to make a decision as to um this is something you just don't see. This is something you, you don't see how close you are to the ending, but you shouldn't go and sit down and think, okay, so what should I do now? Should I just leave this and, 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 and go and try something else, try something different? Or what should I do? Your, and, and you see this as a positive as to, okay, well, maybe this didn't work out, but let's move over to the next thing. And your higher self is telling you, no, don't, just hold on for a bit. You don't see how close you are to a breakthrough here. If you move on now and go do something different, you won't be able to see this energy through to completion. So, you, And you just don't see it. And your higher self sees this as a negative aspect, even though you see it as a positive aspect in the sense of, well, maybe this didn't work out, but maybe the next one will. You're actually trying to be positive here, but it's not positive. And this is the reason why you flip these energies. Wow, because of the tower. Okay, so with this energy fizzling out and you thinking that this is something very negative and that you are not succeeding this is a tower moment in your life and like i say you're trying to navigate this tower and say you know what let me try and stay positive here and try something different and your higher self is telling you stay put for just a little bit longer just see how this works out i'm not saying that this 
this is going to work out this is absolutely and totally up to you tarot is here for guidance you must see this in the light that your higher self is bringing it to you so don't think because you are busy with something that that hasn't seen any success or is 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 not giving you what it's supposed to that you should stay in this longer that's then this reading does not resonate with you really. This is something that has been working for you, but you are tired and you see things are calming down and you're worried and you think that it's not gonna work out. This is gonna work out. So next one is, what lesson does your high, high uh, does the high priestess want you to learn right now? And it's celebrate the small things. That's the words that she's given me now. Celebrate the small things. This is a card of completion. This is the four of ones of happiness, of celebration, of getting to the other side of whatever this was. So the high priestess is coming in and telling you, just celebrate the small successes that you've had up to now. And if you see, if you add those up, you will, you will be able to take the blindfold off and see, okay, you know what? This might actually work for me. So guidance from the high priestess obstacles and challenges the obstacle and the challenge is just as big as you want it to be how you see it is is not really how it is so if you see this this is very daunting it's very far you will probably break your neck if you fall but did you see how small the little step is that you just have to step over and it's not there's no real threat here so the, that's what the high priestess is telling you libra is there's no real threat here guys i hope this helped if you would like a personal reading please follow the link in the description box down below to my website and i hope i'll be seeing you again soon take care